Hi, I'm Brett. I'm the textiles business manager for CMY UK. And today we're in CMY UK's demo and training center in Shrewsbury, looking at the new EFI FabReview 340i Plus. So before we start printing, I'll give you a brief explanation about how the FabReview 340i Plus works. So the FabReview is a direct textile printer, printed with sublimation. The main difference is the FabriView 340i Plus has got inline fixation. So as you print, the, fit, the print is automatically fixed when it hits take up units, so no need for an external calendar. We'll then have a closer look at the head configuration. We'll then show you a closer look at the extraction unit and how the exhaust manifold works. And then we'll show you the machine being threaded up before we finally start printing any designs. So the new 340i Plus has now got eight print heads. The original FabReview only had four print heads. Main advantage of this is we can now print at effectively double the resolution without any loss of speed. We still have a standard, uh, the ink recirculating system. So basically that means whenever we do a super purge, we're not wasting any ink. So behind here, is our heat plate. The 340i Plus now has three individual zones to the heat plate so we can control those much more accurately and evenly. That basically gives us much more even heat, which basically then means we have a much more even color. Behind here is the extraction manifold. Behind here are basically four zones, which are pulling the gassing that comes from the sublimation process away, pulls it directly away from the print, and then moves it sideways to the main extraction unit. That basically means all the gases being created by the sublimation process um, are not coming up into the room. They're going through the filtration system and all we get is ambient heat um, back into the room. Okay, so starting at the back of the FabriView 340i Plus and explaining how to thread up the machine. So we have a roll on our feed roll at the back in this instance, it's a front lit display and we're printing on the inside of the fabric. So the thread path is from the feed roller at the back. We're gonna go underneath the bottom dancing bar, round the back of the roll conditioning bar, and then onto the drive roller, and then eventually to the front and we'll attach it to the front take up roller. So we push the media through from the back over the, the back drive roller. We're then going to grab it from the front and attach it onto the front take-up roller. So to do that, we're gonna open up the doors. I'll explain before we actually do it. We're gonna pull the fabric through. It's gonna go over the red sticky roller. It will then go down over the heat plate, comes out at the bottom, through the front tensioning bars, and then onto the front take-up roller. The fabric has just been passed over the red sticky roller. I'm then going to tell the machine to start feeding the media. And basically it's going to disappear and come out the bottom and then we'll attach it onto the front take up bar. When it exits the bottom, we're then going to follow the thread path over the front dancing bars. Okay, so once it's exit, exited the bottom of the printer, we're gonna go over the front tensioning bars, the dancing bars, and then finally on to the front take-up rock. We're then pretty much ready to start printing. Okay, any jobs that we're gonna rip across to the FabReview, we're using the Fiery Pro server. Uh, this is the, uh, the RIP software. So very simply, we're gonna click on file and import any images select the files that you want to bring in and say open. The important bit is to select the correct media workflow. So we've already set any uh, shrinkages or different settings that we need for different medias. The specific media that we're printing um, is a front lit display. So we're on CMYK display, click hold, and the images will be brought in. Once the images are in, we can then click on the images, make a specific layout if we need to. Once we've made our layout, 
So this is, each image is a meter square, so we're printing three by three. Once we've got a layout and we're happy, we say file and print. That layout will then be ripped across to the FabriView 340i Plus. Okay, so the jobs that we've now just ripped over from Fiery, um, once it's finished ripping, we pick up in the queue manager, bring them into the queue manager, move them across to print, and then we're ready to go. Before we print uh, anything, this is the first print, I'm gonna do a very quick signature test, which is basically um, a head test, just to make sure all the nozzles are firing. We'll have a quick check at that, and then we'll start printing. So it's now just printing the nozzle test. We're gonna have a very quick visual, make sure all the nozzles are firing. Once we're happy all the nozzles are firing, we can stop this. So as you can see, the color, the print at this stage looks very pale. And only once it's gone over the heat plate and the sublimation process has happened, do you get your final color and your bright, really intense colors. It's one of the advantages of sublimation is that the point of printing you're using a fraction of the amount of ink because it's the chemical reaction with heat that gives you your final color. So when you come to the end of your print, the head will stop and then the media will then feed over the heat plate at whatever speed you are printing to ensure that you get continuous uh, fixation over the heat plate. That completes the demonstration of the FabriView 340i Plus. I hope you find that useful.